So what I have here is a bunch of LEDs, which stands for light emitting diode. And what I want to do in this video is basically just kind of hook these up and, and see what we can do with them. Uh, so as you can see, they come in a variety of different colors. And the manufacturer has, has provided us a little bit of information. This was on the packaging that these came in. And they're telling us um, a voltage that, that we need to give these things in order to get them to light up. And what you can see is here it says voltage at 20 milliamps. And for the red LEDs, it's 1.9 to 2 volts, and then it, it varies depending on the color. You know, the blue LEDs, for example, uh, want 3, 3 volts to 3.1 volts. So depending on what, what color we're using here, we might need a different voltage. Um, and all of these are at 20 milliamps. So I have a power supply here that we can use that um, I can adjust, and it'll give us between 0 and 30 volts at 3 amps. And of course, 3 amps is a whole lot more than 20 milliamps. Um, but if if we give the, the LED the, the voltage it wants, it should only draw 20 milliamps. So, so if, if we give it the correct voltage, it should draw the appropriate amount of, of current and, and the power supply isn't gonna, it, you know, the power supply will give us the, the voltage that we select and then the, it'll allow the circuit to draw up to three amps. And presumably the circuit, if it's one of these LEDs, should only draw 20 milliamps, not, not, the, whole, not the whole three amps. So with that out of the way, um, let's take one of these LEDs and try hooking it up. So I'll, I'll grab one of these, we'll just grab one of these yellow ones, kind of right in the middle, and the LED is a diode, and a diode is a, is a circuit component that um, allows current to only travel in, in one direction normally. And of course this is a light emitting diode, so while it's doing that it emits light, which is the, the interesting part of this. Um, <clears throat> But because it only allows current to flow in one direction, we need to make sure that we are trying to pass current through it in the correct direction, otherwise it won't work. And so the way that we can tell which uh, direction to hook this up is that the leads are different lengths. And so you can see there's a shorter lead and a longer lead. And the shorter lead is the what's called the cathode, um, which is the side that we hook to the negative, um, the negative side of our voltage source. And the longer lead is what's called the anode, and, and that's the side that we hook to the positive part of uh, uh, positive side of our voltage source. So we can try hooking this up. I have a, a breadboard here that we can use to to hook this up on. And I'll take the LED and I have I have it oriented here so that the uh, the cathode is on the left side. So that's the side that we hook to the negative, and the anode is on the right. So I'll just insert it in this breadboard. And just so you know how this breadboard works. I've just put it in these two holes, and the way the breadboard works, each row of five, or I guess each column, the way you're, we're looking at it right now, each column of five holes here is connected to each other. Um, and so because the LED is connected to two different columns, um, the two leads are not connected to each other inside the breadboard. But if we were to hook up something to any, any of these four holes, it would be connected to the left side of the LED. If we connected anything to any of these four terminals here, it would be connected inside the breadboard to the right side of the LED. So what we can do is we can hook up our power source. So we have the positive side of the power source, which will hook to the right side of the LED, which, which again was, was that longer lead. And then the left side, or the, the left side of the LED, which is the shorter lead, will hook to the negative side of the power source. And of course the power source is off, so nothing happens. But what we can do is we can turn the power source on, and right now it's set to zero volts. And this power source is a, it's a, um, a nice laboratory power source that, that gives me uh, quite a bit of control over the voltage. Um, and so if we look back at what the manufacturer said, let me grab this little sheet here. Um, it says for the yellow LED, um, the, the voltage at 20 milliamps uh, should be 1.9 to 2 volts. So let's start to increase the voltage um, and see what happens. So I can slowly increase this voltage and here we're, we're just over one volt, and the LED doesn't appear to be on at all. Um, in fact, as we get to, you know, here we're almost at one and a half volts. We're at one and a half volts. The LED is still not on, but of course, you know, it says it wants 1.9 to 2 volts, so we'll, we'll keep going here. And we'll keep going. And actually, just right now, I can just, you probably can't see this yet on the video, but I can barely see just the faintest little bit of light coming um, out of the LED, and, and we're at 1.73 volts. So we're still below the 1.9, so no surprises there. And as we increase, now the LED is, is really starting to get bright, and you can probably see that now on the video. 
and now we're at 1.9 volts and the LED is, is clearly on. Um, and we can continue to increase to 2 volts and it gets a bit brighter and that's 2 volts. And now you can see at 2 volts the LED is drawing 0 0.02 amps which is 20 milliamps and so it's doing exactly what the manufacturer said it should do which, which is great. But what I want to show you is that the, the brightness of the LED and, and actually the, the function of the LED is very dependent on voltage. You may have noticed that just as I was increasing the voltage there. Um, but just, just, the, just a little bit of voltage, a hundredth of a volt here, is actually making a noticeable difference. And maybe you can't see it, but let me, let me see if I can turn the lights off in here. I'll turn the lights down a little bit. Whoa, try not to bump everything. <coughs> So there, you should be able to see now. Now if I change the voltage, you can see, hopefully it's a little bit clearer to see now, just a little bit of change in voltage, especially in this, in this region here, is making a big difference in the brightness, well, or at least a, a noticeable difference in the brightness of the LED. So just a hundredth of a volt is, is changing the brightness of the LED, um, which is which is very interesting. So within that within that range there, and even within the 1.9 to 2 volt range, which is the normal operating range of this of this LED according to the manufacturer, uh, you see you see an interesting uh, effect there, where just a hundredth of a volt is making a big difference. I'll turn the lights back on. So this is great if if we have a very, very well controlled voltage source. But most of the time um, in a circuit, you don't have this level of control over your voltage. And so what happens if we have more voltage than, than what the manufacturer says? Well, you might expect things not to work quite right, but let's, let's try it out and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna, actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn the lights off again and increase the voltage beyond the two volts that the manufacturer says. And what I want you to notice is look at the amperage. Well, look at the light that, that's coming out of the LED and also look at the amperage as we go beyond two volts. Now we just, we're up to 30 milliamps. The LED is getting brighter. 40 milliamps, the LED is getting brighter. We're only 0.1 volts above and we're now 50 milliamps. And remember, the uh, manufacturer said that this should be operated at 20 milliamps. So just a 0.1 volt increase above the uh, two volts that they, that they specified gives us you know, this, this huge increase here in, in amperage. Um, and we'll continue increasing the current a little bit. Or, whoa, and look at that. The amperage just goes right away. And we're only 0 0.12 volts above. And look at the LED. It's, it's gotten really dim, and it's actually gotten redder. I don't know if it's, it might be hard to see with the lights off. Um, and then if I continue to increase the voltage, the LED is actually getting dimmer and dimmer. The current is really going up. We're now at we're now at almost 300 milliamps, and remember the LED is is, is spec, spec to work at 20 milliamps, and we're at almost 300. Um, and we're only we're only you know point you know we're only a quarter of a volt now above, and the LED is completely out. It's or almost completely out. There's still a little bit of light coming out of it, um, but if I increase the current the voltage much more, the LED just goes out altogether. Um, you also notice the amperage is starting to drop, which is kind of interesting. But let's put it back. Let's put it back into its into its happy range. We'll go back to two volts where it should work. And you notice it's not working anymore. the The LED is off. And the reason for that is that when we increase the voltage, I'll turn the lights back on here. When we increase the voltage beyond the 1.9 to two volts that it wanted, the LED started drawing a ton of current. Um, and of course, since power is, is voltage times current, it started drawing a ton of power. And it had to dissipate that power somewhere, and it, and it dissipated that power into heat, and it basically burned itself up. So it's very important with an LED to make sure that we stay within the voltage that the manufacturer has specified. Otherwise, it will draw a ton of current, and it'll destroy itself. And, so, and that's actually what's happened here. You can see we were giving it two volts. It's not on. This LED is dead. Um, I, I have to throw it out now. It's, it's, it's no good. Um, so it, it raises an interesting question. Um, you could see how finicky this was, even, even you know, a tenth of a volt above its, its you know, range, you know, completely, completely you know, basically destroyed it. 
Um, so in a real circuit where you don't have this level of control of your voltage, you know, what can you do? So in the next video, we'll look at how we can hook an LED up when we don't have such control over the voltage or we have a higher voltage and we, and we need to limit the current in some other way.